So the next question that I got is, it's a little uh, a technical question, uh, but it comes from people that are really, you know, want to break into this industry. And they're asking me about um, what's the process of doing conforms. So let me tell you a little bit what they're asking for people that have no idea what they're talking about. When I see the movie for the first time or when I start making music for the, for the, for the film, let's call that version 10. Um, by the time we finish, we're maybe talking about version 96 or version 285 or version 544. So the scenes will constantly change. They might be longer, they might be shorter. There are actually movies where a complete character is cut out of the movie. There are scenes that used to be a flashback, but now they're happening in synchronized version of the, of the film. So obviously, the original cue that you wrote cannot work constantly to all these changes. At some point, somebody needs to go in and say, okay, this piece of music is not working anymore, we need to change it. And that is called a conform. And um, you have to conform the music to the new picture. That's why the word conform. So this could be a very tedious process um, and it's a painful process. So you did the original piece of music, so you laid your artistic egg, so to speak. Let's say the director really, really likes it. So after one round of writing, technically the music is done, you would say. Well, the picture is still changing and sometimes you can fix it with a little edit here and there. But at a certain point, you really need to go in and just really look at the scene again and say like, is it still working or do you need to change it? Um, and this can sometimes be a very tedious pr uh, process. And this has everything to do with how many times the picture is obviously changing. So when you work on a movie for 18 months like Mad Max, then the picture is changing constantly and you have to change the musically accordingly uh, constantly. Uh, when you work on a film only for four weeks, for instance, like the movie Black Mass, um, that movie was pretty finished when I started and it really didn't change after that. A few details, but not a lot. So you could really focus on the picture and write and then when it's approved, it's done. Um, so conforms is when you constantly have to update your music to the latest version of the picture. And that can sometimes be a painful process and that's usually where the stress comes from. The stress does not come from writing the music, that's great. But as you go to the finish line and the picture is constantly being cut because the director feels that a scene needs to be shorter or longer or whatever he decides, that can be stressful to keep up with the pace that the editing is at and at the same time you're still finishing the score, writing some extra music, make sure everything is ready for orchestration. Um, so that's what conforms are, and that could be, um, you know, a tricky angle in, in film scoring. You never know whether there's gonna be a lot of conforms or whether it's just a few like here and there, whether it's gonna be easy or whether it's gonna be difficult. And that's always the big if with uh, film scoring. So I hope that answers that question.